Hey guys, we are group four consisting of Catherine Conway, Emily Dietrich, Jessica Whitaker, Emily Mancuso, and Mackenzie Rogers, and we researched Finland's maternity leave and what that means for companies, employees, and their marketing strategies in a globalizing world. Finland currently has one of the best maternity leave policies in the world. Not only do they cover parental leave through maternity grants, they also provide parents with baby supplies in their maternity care packages. The Finland government provides these packages to all expecting mothers, and mothers with multiple babies receive multiple care packages. The 2011 maternity package contains 64 items, including the box itself that doubles as a crib, multiple baby onesies, tops, pants, shoes, socks, hats, blankets, pacifiers, personal care items, and more. If parents do not wish to receive this package, they are also entitled to a tax-free sum of 140 euros. In Finland, expecting mothers can start their paid maternity leave 30 to 50 days or 5 to 7 weeks before their estimated due date. After the birth, they are allowed 16 additional weeks of paid leave covered by the government regardless of whether the mother is a student, unemployed, self-employed, adopting a child, or more. Additionally, fathers are allowed 8 weeks of paid maternity leave by the government. They also provide a maternity allowance for up to four months through the Finnish social security system, depending on if their employer will cover any of it and how soon after giving birth the mother plans to go back to school or work. Maternity leave was first enacted in Finland in 1917, but it included no job protections and mothers were only allowed up to four weeks of leave. Paternity leave was introduced in 1978. Over the years, the amount of leave time has been extended and lowered and extended again for both mothers and fathers, and eventually job protections were added too. At its highest, in 1979, maternity leave was 210 days or 35 weeks. The care packages have been offered to mothers since 1938. However, at the time, they were only for low-income mothers. It was in 1949 they were made available to all Finnish mothers, regardless of income level. Finland's maternity leave policies cover a diverse range of parent types, from single parents to adopting parents to same-sex parents and more. Although Finland's parental leave policies are a lot greater and more extensive than other countries around the world, there is a lack of equity regarding the differences in maternity and paternity leave. Where moms get 16 weeks off after having their baby, dads only get 8 weeks off. Some reasons for this difference include that mothers need time to heal after giving birth, but also, historically, moms were expected to become stay-at-home moms or work less to take care of the baby. It was the dad's responsibility to provide for the family and other outdated beliefs. Businesses need to be aware of how much time each parent can take off after having a child, and then they can decide whether they want to allow fathers any extra time off to make things more fair. If a company thinks there ought to be more equity in parental leave policies, they can lobby for change or inspire social movements through advertising. In comparison to the rest of the world, the amount of parental leave Finland offers mothers and fathers is one of the highest. In the United Kingdom, mothers are granted 40 weeks of paid leave. In Vietnam and Ireland, they get 26 weeks. In Singapore and Bangladesh, it's 16 weeks. 15 weeks in Canada, and in China, Chad, and the Congo, mothers get 14 weeks. And in Mexico and Iran, it's 12 weeks. For the United States, mothers are not guaranteed paid maternity leave at all. And for paternity leave, Finland also provides more time than most other countries. Iceland gives fathers three months, in Portugal it's 20 days, in Spain it's 15 days, in the United Kingdom, Denmark, Australia, Venezuela, and Kenya, fathers get two weeks, and in the Bahamas and Singapore they get one week. Again, the United States provides no guaranteed paid paternity leave. Here is one Finnish couple's perspective on Finland's maternity package and becoming parents themselves. No, äitiyspakkaus merkitsee mulle ainakin aika paljon, koska sillä on pitkät perinteet Suomessa ja se on hieno etu, että meillä semmoinen on. Tukipilari, mikä sieltä annetaan heti käteen siinä, että tässä näin, hoitakaa homma. No 
ihastutti eniten se pöllökuva sinne makuupussi ja sitten se koiralelu tai se unirietu, niin se oli mun mielestä myös tosi, tosi kiva. Ja varmaan niille podeille mä luulen, että tulee varmaan eniten käyttöön. Ne ehkä eniten jännittää se kokonaisvaltainen muutos elämää, että mä luulen, että sinne sitten ne kysymykset tulee, yksi lapsi on tossa. Mun mielestä se on tosiaan niin, kuin, niin hienoa, että sitten päästään näkemään, kun se pieni koltiainen sitten lähtee kasvamaan ja se rupeaa oppimaan tiettyjä uusia asioita. Ja se on sitten sieltä ne, varmasti ne niin kuin kaikki hymyt ja naurut pitää sitten tulla. Mm. So what does this mean for businesses? These parental leave policies are bound to affect businesses in Finland and global businesses that expand into Finland. There are both pros and cons to the parental leave. The pros include better maternal health, families get to bond with their babies, and the fact that happy and healthy workers equal to higher job satisfaction and productivity, all of which lead to better outcomes for business. The cons include that the leave disrupts work schedules, Finding temporary replacement employees can be difficult, and there is always the potential for a parent to decide to become a stay-at-home parent after their baby is born. These could result in wasted time and money for a company. Through Finland's maternity packages, there are potential business opportunities. While the boxes are not available commercially and the parents are not the one paying for them, the items in it are sourced through a competitive bidding process. Companies that make baby and maternity items could earn a place in one year's maternity box and end up gaining lifetime customers and a stronger brand image. It also provides the opportunity to market their products as something of such high quality that the Finnish government included it in their maternity packages. Businesses can also use global marketing to draw people and businesses to Finland. Because of their social security system and universal welfare programs, it could be a desirable country for employees to move to. And if capable and talented employees are willing to move to Finland, then businesses will be more inclined to follow. And if successful at marketing, improving Finland's global image and drawing businesses to Finland, this could benefit the country's economy and grow business within the country. After learning about Finland's maternity leave policies, businesses should not be afraid to set up or expand into Finland. They just need to research the differences between countries and then plan on how they will deal with those. We also recommend that businesses look into taking advantage of the unique business opportunities presented by Finland's social services, including maternity leave and care. Once companies expand into Finland and adjust, they should use it as a chance to promote things like maternity leave and Finnish social security systems as an example for other countries to follow. Today, more and more consumers are taking ethics and corporate social responsibility into account when choosing where to spend their money. This means that through marketing, Finland's generous parental leave times, maternity care packages, and other benefits could improve the country's image globally. Along with this, Finland and international businesses could influence and inspire other countries or even companies to follow suit and offer parents things such as more leave time that would benefit parents, their children, and businesses themselves.